Okay, today what we're going to look at is checking your work. Now here is a, a question that I have made an error in. Let's see how if you check your work you could find it. First of all, you remember from before, we have to try and get rid of the brackets. So we use the distributive principle, or the rainbow rule, to multiply 3 times 2 adds is 6 adds, 3 times 5 is 15. Now what I'd like to do is collect everything with an X onto one side and everything without an X onto the other side. And at the same time, we must remember that we have the little border guard who sits on the equal sign and his job is to change the sign of everybody. So the 4 X comes across and I've written 6 X minus 4 X here. The 15 comes across and I've remembered that it's still minus 3 there, but I forgot to change the sign of the 15. I made it plus 15, when on the left it was plus 15. I should have changed that sign. Well, let's see what happens. 6 adds, take away 4 adds is 2 adds. Minus 3 plus 15 is 12. Divide both sides by 2, and adds plus 6, you would think is your answer. Now to check your work, the best way to do it is to rewrite out the original question, as I've done here, but replace the letter X by what you think the answer is. So I think the answer is 6. So wherever I see the letter X in the original question, I'm writing a 6 in this question. Okay, now if I have done it correctly, then when I work it out, the left-hand side will equal the right-hand side. So 2 times 6 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. And 3 times 17 is 51. Therefore, the right-hand side should work out to 51 as well. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 minus 3 is equal to 21. 51 does not equal 21. Okay, there is your oops. It means that you have made a mistake. Okay, now what we'll try and do is see what would happen if I had put in the correct answer. Okay, if I had done the question correctly, at this point, this should have been a minus 15. I would have had negative 3 subtract 15. My right hand side would have been minus 18, not plus 12. When I divided it by 2, I would have had x equals minus 9 is my correct answer. Let's see what happens if I go back to the original question. Okay, rewrite it out, and this time try it with 9 is 9. 3 times 2 times something plus 5 has to equal 4 times something minus 3. So what I'm now going to put in there is minus 9. Okay, now that does make a difference. On the left hand side, I have 2 times negative 9 is negative 15. Uh, negative 18, I mean. Negative 18 plus 5 is negative 13. And 3 times negative 13 is negative 39. So the left hand side works out to negative 39. The right hand side, 4 times negative 9 is negative 36. And negative 36 subtract 3 is also negative 39. Therefore, the left hand side equals the right hand side, and I know the question is correct. Okay, so the proper way to check your work is to go back to the original question write out out again but this time put in what you think is the answer and if the left hand side equals the right hand side then you know you have it correct